friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to the tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Agile Technical Tester. We are in chapter 2 continuing with the same topic and moving to the next segment of it that is 2.2.2 creating test charters and interpreting their results. We of course know about exploratory testing earlier from the life cycle that what exactly the exploratory testing is all about. Of course it makes use of certain test charters which carries a lot of information about the exploratory test sessions. But of course carrying that information and putting it into a formal way of reporting is very important. That how exactly these charters are created and play a vital role during the exploratory test sessions and how do we interpret the results because we have minimal documentation and independent interaction with the product. So let's more understand about the same. Before an appropriate test charter can be created, the existing Apex user stories should be evaluated first. Of course, we have known about the evaluation of the user stories in the chapter 1 with help of requirement engineering. If you want, you can quickly refer to the tutorial one of that. When analyzing Apex or user stories to create test charters, the following things should be considered. Who are the users in the Apex or user story? What is the main functionality of the Apex? or user story? What are the actions a user can perform? Is the goal of the user story realized once the feature of functionality is complete? So these are certain questions which generally need to be answered before you can actually create the test charters which are referred for the expertise testing because once these answers are clear or addressed then it becomes very easy for the expertise testers to conduct the execution. The granularity of the test charter is very important. It should not be too small as well. That we are trying to be brief as much as possible does not mean that you make it so small that it does not have any necessary information as it must explore an area around an identified problem or an area around the user story or an epic. So we must have all necessary information by keeping it short and simple. But at the same time we do not mean that it should be big enough or like too lengthy. It should fit the time limit of the execution sessions that is 60 to 120 minutes of time box as well. So we don't want to make a quite lengthy documentation which might be a probably difficult job for a tester to execute that within that provided time. Additionally when you talk about the test charters again, test charters can be created using flip charts, spreadsheets, documentation or existing test management system, personas, mind mapping, and even a whole team approach. Expert testers use heuristic to drive their creativity in writing and performing exploratory testing sessions. These can also be used for creating test charters and in thinking creatively when analyzing user stories and epic. All the findings found during exploratory testing should be documented. The results of expert testing should provide insights into the better test design, ideas for testing the product, the ideas for any further improvement, etc. Findings that should be documented during expert testing, including defects, ideas, cushion, improvement suggestions, etc. Tools can also be used and being helpful for documenting the expert test sessions. These include video capture and logging tools, including the planning tools, etc. The documentation should include the expected result. In some cases, pen and paper is sufficient depending on the volume of information to collect. When summarizing the exploratory test sessions, during the debriefing meeting, the information is collected and aggregated to present a status of progress, coverage, and efficiency of the session as well. That adds a lot of value that how effective your exploratory session was. The summary information can be used as management report or used in retrospective meetings on any level and any scale. At the end, however, it can be quite challenging to determine accurate test matrices at any point of time related to exploratory testing sessions. It is really important that no matter what you collect is up to the mark. So we are not striving to get an accurate detail, but at least to meet the expectations to derive the possible outcomes. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. We'll be getting back to you with another tutorial soon. Stay tuned for that.
till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding the context if you have anything else feel free to drop me a comment i'll be there to answer your query and address that so thanks for watching the video team and happy learning